Votto's been thrown out of the game. This has gone on all night, and there has been a running conversation with Votto. He is awfully, awfully upset. Never seen him like this. Not this upset. Conversation going on with Votto here. You could read his lips looking into the dugout. He said, I had asked for time. And whatever preceded that, asked for time. You could read those last few words into the slamming of the helmet, slamming of the bat, right in the face. And Wilkie, the crew chief, almost pointing at his face, saying, You're making contact with my face here. I don't think he ever made contact. He may have. Had some saliva come out of his mouth because he was irate. I don't think he ever made contact with his face. Well, Brian Price is right on the border getting thrown out, too. He is out. He started. It didn't look like he went. Wow. Jerry Crawford going to ring him up. And Joey might get thrown out of the game. He just did. He's gone. Thrown out of the game. I mean, rarely do you see any sort of outburst from Joey Votto. But boy, he is hot. Well, this is showing you exactly what is going on in that Reds clubhouse, in their locker room. The leader of this ball club is taking it upon himself in Joey Votto to try to get it all back at one time and it just can't happen base Votto over by the wall is there and he can't hang on to it the fan look at Votto look at him and says dude you're a Reds fan the fans got to know better than this is Joey Votto's got a great beat on this ball this guy's not even realizing it now with that being said, I don't know if I'm going to blame the fan completely. Yes, he should have gotten out of the way. Maybe he was distracted as Joey Votto reminds him what team he is rooting for. But that that fan's hand did not hit the ball at all. I'm not saying that he didn't get in the way a little bit. He did. I think Joey Votto could still catch that ball. And the fan talking about why did Joey Votto pull on my Cincinnati Reds logo? But watch this right here. He's kind of going for it, but don't tell me Joey Votto can't catch that ball. No, Votto should catch it. Easily. Easily. On deck is Johnny Gomes, the count one and two. Well, DJ Rayburn has got a big strike zone today. Sure looks like it. He's all looked up around the chest area, or just below the chest area. I should say. He just throws Votto out of the game. You got to be kidding me. Joey Votto is tossed, and this is the second time this year we've seen this happen. It occurred in Chicago. And Dusty Baker will come out to protect his first baseman who's been rung up. I'm just getting ready to say that strikes don't look like you could drive one of those F Series Ford trucks that we talked about in our opening billboards. Well, that, that, may, um, that may draw the ire of the baseball office was something like that. I mean, there was no show up, no anything going on at home plate. And then, boom, Rayburn throws him out of the ball game. Well, and Dusty Baker, this is his first game back from his two-game suspension. Well, that is a bad move by Rayburn. Let's take a look at this picture of Joey Votto. You see this a lot where a hitter will get back into the box. He's talking to the umpire here. And then boom, he throws him out of the ball. Game wasn't showing him up. He wasn't doing anything other than having a conversation, talking about the pitch prior to that. This guy, I Looks like I, Joey Votto's got something to say to Bryce Harper. I would shut up if I was Joey Votto. Bryce is handling this a lot more maturely 
than the older veteran is right now. Well, you, you just don't get involved in that. You just don't get involved in that. I mean, it, it hurts. I don't care. It's just a reaction. You don't necessarily know he's throwing at you, but the fact is it's 95 hitting you in the back. You know, Andy Fletcher's just standing there. At some point, the umpires have to say, okay, let's go. Joey Votto having some words with somebody. Nobody wants to be the first to leave. Hurts a little upset. Sean Rodriguez. Approaching him. And now Rodriguez in an altercation. Bono in the middle of it. Rodriguez has been ejected. He will leave the ballpark. Vano still in the dugout. Opening for Cincinnati. Last night, him and Adrian Gonzalez had a moment. Paper airplane comes on the field. Vano stomps on it in jest to the fans, then motion to the fans. And Adrian Gonzalez was at first base at the time when Vano wasn't looking, gave him the double thumbs down. Vano didn't even realize. It's foul. It'll be a broken bat for Cesar. I don't know what Joey Votto was just doing besides inciting the group on the first base side. Not making any friends over there. <laughs> what is he doing? In there for a call strike three. Second time Pelfrey's gotten Votto looking and Votto really going after Bill Welkie and he gives as well as he gets. Well, Welkie's showing a lot of restraint here because if you argue balls and strikes at some point, there it is. You got to get in the dugout or you're going to be thrown out. And Votto has an early afternoon. I'll tell you what, Dusty was really slow coming out. I thought that Dusty should have been out there a lot sooner to protect his player and keep him from getting thrown out. Because Votto immediately went after Bill Welke and sustained the argument way too long. Well, they need another coach now to come in there also. Dusty can handle himself, but you don't want Votto to get a three, four, five game suspension. Well, he was called on a similar pitch in the first inning. It's like a strike to me, too. Let's see. It's close enough. It's close enough, and you can see why Votto did not think it was a strike. But Cole can. He did it there. The swing and a miss, no controversy there. But when you throw your equipment, you are subject to ejection. And that's what Conroy did. And he didn't realize it. Joey says, all right, everything's cool. Don't worry about it. I'm on me. I'm on me. Now, Votto realizes he's been ejected, and here he comes. And the question is, does he bump the umpire? Oh, no. That's not good. Ryan Price, try as he might. Could not keep Votto away.